This is how I customize my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It just came in the mail and I think I have the perfect setup for it. So immediately drop a thumbs up to show your support and let's check out what I got. Now the first thing I did when I took the phone out of the box is I immediately disabled Bixby from being launched when I long pressed the power button. Nothing against anyone who uses Bixby, I just prefer not to use it. So to hide Bixby, I tapped on the power icon in the quick settings panel. Then I tapped on the side key settings and I selected power off menu in the press and hold section. Now when I long press the power key, it brings up the power menu instead of Bixby. Simple fix, but it's kind of hidden. Now with every setup I make, I like to use a third party launcher. There's nothing wrong with the stock One UI Home. I just prefer the extra options for customization. My go-to for the past year has been Launcher 2, but I still also really enjoy Nova Launcher. Can't go wrong with either of those options. Links will be in the description. When customizing the launcher, I changed the theme to black to take advantage of the AMOLED display and save a bit of battery. I've also decided to increase the number of columns in my app drawer to six. Usually with my other phones, I do five, but the Note 10 Plus has such a huge screen that I decided they could handle it. I've also included a category within my app drawer for all of my wallpaper apps, but you can change them to anything such as your games, favorite apps, social apps, etc. The search engine that I'm using is from an app called Sesame. It's a very powerful universal search engine that lets me do deep link searches within most of my apps. You really have to spell anything out to bring up a certain function or command. For my widget on my home screen, it's from an app called Waffle KWGT. It costs a dollar in the Play Store. The widget name within this pack is called 112. It just looks so clean on my home screen. It shows me the time and date. Tapping on that will bring up the Google Calendar app. Right below that, it has a music player which changes colors depending on the song or audio that is currently playing in the background. So if an album cover is blue, the entire card will turn blue. I also made it so when you tap on the card, it launches the appropriate music player. And the last card shows me the weather in a beautiful manner. Tapping on it will launch the weather within the Google app. The wallpaper that I am using is from an app called AMOLED Walls, and I love how it transitions from a beautiful sunset sky to an extremely dark background from my apps, dock, and search bar. The wallpaper name is called Dotted Stars, but AMOLED Walls has so many other amazing walls with a true black theme, so you'll have no problem finding something you like. The developer is also planning to add some exclusive walls for the Note 10 Plus in the coming weeks, so be on the lookout for that. If you're looking for a bright wallpaper, I recommend two of his other wallpaper apps called Wallbank and Wallhub. There's so many to choose from and he releases a ton of walls every day. I honestly don't know how he does it. If you're looking for walls exclusive to the Note 10 to glorify the hole punch, then I recommend you follow the subreddit Note 10 Wallpapers. It's a relatively new subreddit where you will find plenty of interesting walls with new ones added in every day. For my icon pack, I decided to use two different ones. The icons on my home screen are themed by an app called Cassell. I love how minimal and tiny each one looks. The pastel colors really add to that simplicity, but this pack doesn't have that many icons, so that's why I only applied it to the home screen. For all of my other apps within my app drawer, I use a similar app called Afterglow. It also uses pastel colors with a material look, but the difference is that they have over 3,000 themed icons to apply, so practically every app that I have looks beautiful and follows the same theme. That's pretty much it for my home screen. I'll drop a link in the description to download my lawn chair backup file so you can restore my settings and icons quickly. The next thing that I did to take my Note 10 to the next level is that I used an app called Hex Installer in the Play Store to theme the overall system interface to my liking. This app does cost $2, but I highly recommend the payment because you won't find any other app that will theme your Galaxy phone like this one. Plus, the developer was generous enough to provide me with over 100 promo codes. So if you want to win one, just follow me on Twitter at HowToMen and I'll be dropping them in a few days. For starters, you can change the color of the background, text, accent, quick settings, and notifications. You can theme a couple of third-party apps and even force them to become dark. Change the system font, customize the navigation bar height, change the transparency of the quick settings panel, round the keyboard, and more. On top of being able to customize everything to your liking, you can also download and import hex themes or plugins that other people have created. They have a whole library for you to choose from. The one that I am using on my Note 10 is called Pixel Q. It just makes the interface look like the new Android 10 update. You can find a lot more custom themes within the Hexified app, which gets installed when you use the Hex Installer app or you can look them up on the Play Store. The reason this app can theme everything is that once you hit build and install, it creates a custom Samsung theme in the Galaxy Store, which you can apply quickly. The last thing that I did to customize the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is that I downloaded Good Lock from the Galaxy Store to greatly customize a ton of Samsung components. I know this app isn't available in every country, so I'll drop a link to download it on APK Mirror. But if you're not aware of this app, here are a few things that it can do. 
You can completely change the look of the lock screen, including customizing the clock, app shortcuts, etc. Customize the quick settings panel, and I was able to finally move the clock back to the right side of the screen. I was also able to change the layout of the recents menu, which is my favorite feature since I can see more apps at once with the grid option. Enhance the multi-window experience, create your own navigation bar, rearrange the icons, add custom buttons to the nav bar, use a feature called separate app sound within Sound Assistant to only play my Spotify music through my Bluetooth speaker while everything else is piped through my phone. And another fantastic feature is called dual app sound, which lets an app play at the same time when other apps start to play audio. For example, now I can watch YouTube videos and still have my Spotify music continue playing in the background. And there's so much more you can do, I don't want to go through every feature, but download it and explore it. That's basically how I set up my Galaxy Note 10 Plus out of the box. If you guys enjoyed, once again, drop a thumbs up and get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any future Android videos. I make one every week. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!